So finally I have received the Android 10 One UI 2 update on the Galaxy Tab S6. I'm glad because all devices from the phone to the Galaxy Watch and now the tablet have the same user interface. Especially that I'm heavily invested in the Samsung ecosystem and there is a video about my experience with it in the description. So without further ado, here are the 5 most important features you get with the update. The first thing to notice is the new user interface design, just like on Galaxy phones. Animations are smoother when opening and closing apps, battery and other stats come with border lines and more in-depth data. You can also use the Android 10 navigation gestures, side swipes to go back, swipe up from the center to go to the home screen and from the corners to open the Google Assistant. One trick I like is the new notification panel animation in landscape mode. It now comes down from different areas depending on where you swipe, from the left, right or center. Ok, the second is one of my favorite upgrades. It is quick share. Something closer to Apple's AirDrop, now you can send files much easier to other Samsung devices. So when you click the file and the sharing menu, you'll find this quick share option. Next to it are the other nearby Samsung devices. Click the device name, accept the transfer on the other side and you're done. It is now that easy. The option is using Wi-Fi Direct but without you needing to activate it on both devices, QuickShare will do all the work. Next is the upgraded keyboard. Samsung added some very helpful features to it. For example, you can now translate words directly from the keyboard. Choose the translate option here your input and output languages, then whatever you type in the keyboard will be automatically written in the output language in your document or texting app. That's very helpful. There is also this new search option from which you can search for emojis and stickers and even for Netflix movies. Search results will be directly displayed on the keyboard and tapping the result will insert a link for it. That's neat. Now you can even search Spotify music without opening the app and also access Samsung Pass. I think these features make for a better typing experience and help to stay more productive. Speaking of productivity, and before checking other features, here is a quick word from our video sponsor, HiPDF by Wondershare. If you're managing a lot of documents and want to work on them wherever you are, HiPDF is the best tool for you. It's an all-in-one web-based PDF solution that allows you to do whatever you want with your work. You can convert from PDFs to plenty of other formats like Word, Images and even my favorite EPUB so you have an ebook version. You can do it the other way around and convert from any other format to PDF or even get more sophisticated and use the available tools from compressing, editing, unlocking or even signing PDFs online. And now you get to play with images with these tools, not only PDFs. This is already not expensive. But for this video's viewers, you're getting it with a bigger discount. Check the link in the description. Now let's get back to the fourth Tab S6 feature, which is the new trash. Yep, that's the title I have chosen. So Samsung added trash options both to the file browser and contacts. Finally, which means when you delete a file, it now goes to trash before being permanently deleted. The same for contacts when you delete a number, it will go to a trash option on the contact app. This is safer because you can restore files or contacts when accidentally deleted. Last but not least are some little stuff that I have grouped together. For example, the new digital well-being to control app timers and parental control. In the calendar app, you can now add stickers without the need to create an event and also an enhanced dark mode that applies to your wallpaper to make it look darker. And finally, an updated camera app to make it easier taking pictures. If you're familiar with Samsung phones, you'll find the new UI to be also familiar. So these were the most important features, tell me if you got the update and which feature was your favorite. Thanks for watching and catch you guys in the next one.